Hey guys, Lynn Burke here, owner of Blue City Music. We're at my storefront at American Recording Studio in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. And we're continuing with our Guitar Amplification 101 class today. And we're looking at the Diamond Amplification Heretic. This amp is handmade, part of the Custom Shop series in Houston, Texas. And this is completely built there. None of this designed by, researched by, uh, uh, and then finished, built in the United States. No, every bit of this amp was conceived and built in Houston, Texas. It's a two-channel amp. And just like the other legacy diamond amplification amps from the custom shop, it's going to have a 2A and a 2B. So you could set this up essentially as a three-channel amp. Now, the Heretic can be looked at similar to the Phantom, but it's going to have more note articulation and more saturation. Okay, So a little bit more aggressive than what your Phantom is going to be, which is more of just a straight JCM 800 with some heat on it. Okay, That's the great thing about this amp. Good friend of mine and, and uh, was then evolved through SCARS. He was also in Egypt Central for a while, and he was one of the founders of Saliva, Cristobaldo. I hooked him up with this amp here, and for those type uh, settings, he loves it for that. We, we could, you could cover classic rock with this all day, too. So this is the Diamond Heretic. So let's talk about this amp in a little bit more um, detail and break it down into our controls and indications and take a look at the front and back chassis of the Diamond Amplification Heretic. Hey, guys. This is the front chassis of the Diamond Amplification Heretic. Like most of the legacy custom shop pieces at Diamond Amplification, this is also a 100 watt amp. This one's going to be like the Spitfire, it's going to be like the Phantom, it's going to be like the Takata, the Spec Op, the Nitrox. It's going to have a clean channel. It's going to have a 2A and a 2B on your overdrive crunch type channel. Now, you could set those up identical. You could set them up any way you want. So let's talk about this amp a little bit uh, more detail. 100 watts. Right now, this one is loaded with winged C EL34s. And once those are gone, they're gone because the JSC Russian plant shut down operations in January 14. Better get used to running uh, JJ's, Tube App Doctor, uh, other manufacturers like that, or the Chinese, which are starting to get really, really good. And that's what most people are. They're going to Shenhuan, those tubes, and they're starting to get really, really good. These are loaded with wing Cs. Those are my favorite tubes. My original 69 Marshall Super Lee Tremolo Plexi Circuit has wing C's just like this amp. Standard configuration over here, guys. Power on and off, standby on and off, red jewel light. E-return, that's essentially an effects return, which can be thought of as a global master. We'll cover more of that here in just a moment. Starting over here on the right side, standard input, quarter inch for your guitar. And you're going to have... On this channel one, gain and your volume, so you can set ever how much grit you want on your clean, as well as bass, middle, and treble, and presence control, like any standard Marshall tone stack, okay? Now, let's talk about this clean channel on the Heretic. It's going to be similar to the Nitrox as well as the Phantom, except the difference is... Like all of those three, that is going to be a modern clean channel, not a Marshall-esque style plexi, or should we say super lead with a master volume uh, clean channel. This is going to stay clean for a long time, much cleaner for that modern uh, Lamb of God, uh, Dragonfly, uh, Celador, Circle to Circle. Some of the power metal guys really like that clean Zach Myers and Shine Downs from Memphis. Zach loves the Phantom, um, and the Phantom and the Heretic are very similar. And I'm going to talk about those differences too. So you could set this up uh, however you want, but remember, it is a really nice modern clean channel. Now you're going to have two switches down here on the bottom. This lets you switch without the pedal from channel one to channel two, channel one, channel two, 
or from 2A to 2B over here once you're in channel 2, okay? You're going to have gain for, channel for 2A, volume for 2A, a shared tone controls, and as well as gain for 2B, volume for 2B, and a shared presence control. So the way I'll set this up is it's going to be clean, crunch on 2A, and then I set my gain up higher on 2B for more of my lead tones. So now you're talking about three independent volume controls here to have to deal with. So what you can use this effects return for over here is if you have the supplied jumper that goes into the effects loop send and return, which is nothing more, guys, than a, than a small uh, jumper you'd put between our you can use anything. You can make one out of George L's. You can do it. Get one that's, you know, six inch from lava or monster cable or whatever. It's just a quarter inch mono uh, with a cable in between it. it. So just two of them. It plugs into the return and the send, and it energizes that loop. And what that does is it allows this effects return to become a global master. So where, however you turn this up or down, it's going to control all these volumes, how you have them set relatively to the volume that you asked for overall with this one. So think of that as a global master. If you don't want to run the jumper and you want to run a G system, a G major, you want to run a bunch of stomp boxes uh, through the loop, that's fine. It'll still give you this re effects return. So you have that choice. But if you run nothing in the send and return jack of this amp, this is de-energized and your independent volumes for each 2A, 2B as well as channel one on your clean are going to have to be set manually. So just keep that in mind. I don't know anybody that does not at least use the jumper. I use it 100% of the time. It's just too much trouble to set the individual uh, channels when I can adjust everything right here. So what's the difference between this amp and the Phantom? It's kind of like the big brother to the Phantom. The Heretic has more saturation it also has more note articulation than the Phantom does. Now, the Phantom is going to be considered a JCM-800 on steroids, which is a really good explanation for that. This is going to be even a little bit more aggressive than that with a little bit more bottom end and better note articulation, okay? Uh, a good buddy of mine, Cristobaldo, was one of the founders of Saliva. He ran all of these amps right here at American Recording Studio and wanted to find out of all the diamond products that uh, I stock, which is all of them, which worked best for him. And Debo decided that the Heretic was his amp. So his next project is definitely going to be recorded with this. So this is the front chassis of the Diamond Amplification Heretic. Here's the rear chassis of the Diamond Amplification Heretic. And we can start over here on the right side. This particular model, obviously, in the U.S. is 120 volts which essentially is a 117 volt AC, 60 hertz. And this is going to be a removable power cord known as an IC power cord. And this amp's also available in multitude of configurations. 100 volts, that's going to be Japan. 220 or 230 versus 240, and those are going to be European uh, configurations, Chinese as well. This one's 120, like I said. Let's start over here. You're going to have... A 5-amp fuse here, and you're going to have a 1.25-amp fuse right here. Jeff prefers slow blow, not fast reacting, but slow blow. Every Marshall you've ever owned has got the same thing, so you should have plenty of those if you're a Marshall guy. Two speaker outs. You can run any cabinet you want, and you can adjust the impedance right here with this ohm selector, 4, 8, and 16. Beside that, it's going to be a depth control. So the recommendation would be you get your independent tone controls the way you want it for channel 1, channel 2A, and 2B. Your gain structure set. Then you finish with your presence control. Get your overall volume the way you want it. And then if you decide you want to add a little bit more bottom end to everything, then you can use this depth control over here, and it'll go um, clockwise the more you turn it clockwise, the more you're going to add. Uh, a little goes a long way, so I wouldn't get real, real creative with that. Here's this jumper I was talking about, guys. Simple, okay? It's just a, a nothing fancy, uh, two 90-degree quarter-inch mono 
jacks with a standard uh, guitar mono cable attached to it. So you can do it this way. It comes with the amp, or you could go with your own pedals, or you could go with the G system, G major, whatever. As long as it's got something in the send and return, that's going to energize the effects return on the front of the amp for a global master um, effect for you, okay? Over here, it's going to be the foot switch. Now, unlike the Hammersmith and a couple of the other amps, it's just going to work off of a mono plug. This is going to need a stereo. That means instead of one black ring around the end of the uh, quarter-inch input, there's going to be two. So it's going to be known as tip ring sleeve, a TRS cable. Tip is going to be switching from channel 1 to channel 2, and the ring is going to be to go 2A to 2B. So remember, if you plan on using the supplied foot switch, you have to use a TRS cable to use channel 1 to channel 2 and 2A to 2B. Okay? There's no other way around that. And if you get stuck and you don't have either, well, you can sit there and switch it on the fly if you have to manually on the front. You can look back here and see, guys, these are EL34s, okay? These are really good EL34s, and they're a 100-watt amp, and you're going to have six 12AX7s. So if you're looking for an amp that's got a lot of saturation, a lot of note clarity, a little bit more so than what the Phantom has to offer, this is the amp for you. Okay, guys, this is the... Diamond Amplification Heretic. Give us a call at Blue City Music, 901-485-8250. Catch us on the web, www.bluescitymusic.com. Facebook and Twitter, Blue City Music. Or you could just send me a simple text to 901-485-8250. I get that worldwide. doesn't cost me a dime. So if you text me, and I'm unavailable on the phone, I'll text you back, and then when I can, I'll call you, and it'll be via a Skype line. So expect a 661 area code from Palmdale, California. That's what it's going to show up on your caller ID. That'll be me calling. So if you need anything, especially a fantastic amp like this, Diamond Amplification Heritage, give us a call. Thanks for stopping by.